you know, I screwed it all up to me. But five people are still here. It's a good sign. <laughs> Could you announce that if anybody wants information on the walk? If anybody would like information on the walk to support Leonard Peltier, it's freedom. Uh, if you'll give me an email, I'll keep you posted. I don't know what's happening, December 18th onward. Yeah. But you have to give me the email. It won't happen magically without it. This next poet is young. Me? Young guy. Younger than you. Younger than me. Younger than Tony. Edward Anthony. Hello, my name is Eddie. I was exposed to uh, poetry, I guess, by bowling club. Um, uh, I'm going to read this uh, this year, but uh, uh, somebody told me I should read this, uh, this so I uh, figure I'll read this one first. This is called uh, Goodbye to the Analog TV. It's a black and white world. The colors have gone. But then it depends on who's turning who on. The banks are all failing. The car companies are failing and your flat screens are bought overseas. In a global recession, in high definition, goodbye to the analog TV. You're up and you're down, and your stocks hit the ground, and the colors, they're all in your head. The gays are proposing, and the schools are all closing. Who's tucking your children in bed? A nuclear threat, California is in debt, is Arnold still flexing his arms. With no money for college, they'll tax common knowledge. And your parents are selling their farms. Your sons are dead soldiers, your homes are in foreclosures, and the news of the world's on pay-per-view. Goodbye, morning paper, hello, ticket taper. Geraldo has no gum on his shoes. A ball of confusion. A mass illusion, a world without, without a prayer or a dream. With no hands being shook in a Tom Clancy book, and your chat room is not what it seems. With pollution and toxics, and clear fiber optics, goodbye to the analog TV.